series seemed easy for Ants, but they weren't the only team that popped off during the event. So we compiled all the best plays from the tournament for your eyes only. So get your body ready for all the CSGO greatness in this week's FPS Plays of the Week. Me. They're in a rough spot because they're very limited on flashbacks. And that's a big frag from Dupree. The wide swing from Zipex. Everything's turning around now. But the bomb's been dropped on short. There are 34 seconds, so Alexi B, if he can buy some more time, that's one way to do it by massacring everyone. Okay, then. Yeah, and they might know. Like, we can't see the bomb anymore, so you expect them to clear this. It'll be hard to get to. He gets the bow. The second one's a headshot, that's his Q. He'll take the bomb into lower. Molly the vents, 40 seconds up, and it looks like he'll get a plant, certainly. Oh, now how do you play this, Mohan? What do you do? Easily fall back to Eisenberg. You can use this door as much as you want. You have a nade to work with. There's almost no reason to throw it. Muteris has got to figure out if he's making that extended play. Interesting to see he's actually falling back. I don't know what the value would be. Maybe just grab an extra flash. I'm not entirely sure. No, but once out. Alex hears this, again, it just comes down to the door, and there's not a smoke here for Muteris to use. Alex has to hold the door. Harris is going to get closer, could swing it wide first. There's the push. Red like a book. Alex, one versus three. Guterres alone. Giants, as they are on fire, could be extinguished here in the 10th round. A second for Riders. Good nade. Oh, my oh. God. He takes a step back to make sure it's placed properly. And both oh. on and one goes down. Oh, no. There's a chance here for him to swing. He oh! It's a headshot. And Giants pull that one back off the back of a huge individual play from Muteris. Just for enough time. That is beautiful though. Takes down Glaive. The trade comes in. The bomb. Oh, Zipix can just hold it, but he doesn't realize. He doesn't realize. Sergei is in position. Oh my god. If they just realized the Sergei was up there. So they make us into pre over at the bomb site. Now just waiting for it and a great entry kill Dupree with the AWP. They have to turn the corner. He's gonna pick up one more kill. They need to stack up on him at some point, and he's ready for it. Another one for Dupree. And now last one left Zeus. Oh no! And he's gonna shut it down. Electronic now. One versus two. Dupree somehow. If they opt to fancy for this retake, Kill Dream one HP. And the CTs start to push in. Alex opens up with another frag. Now the Molotov on the sandbags creates a difficult position to try and hold off on, but a deeper molly and then a third. This entire thing is just in flames at the moment. Now the kills come in. It's the CTs to come out on top of time. Time is going to be close, and I don't think he's got it. Do they have it? They have to. No, he's still on the bomb right now. Oh! He barely gets it. Oh my goodness. Playing to be before there is a more of a commitment from Ents. Can Ents commit with only three players alive and over a minute on the clock? Just baiting out the shot, it works. X7 now with fewer opportunities to get the damage in before they arrive on the site, but they will run straight into Aerial's Org. Oh my god, there is no way they can pass this position. Aerial denies everything with the quad kill. Ooh, baby, love me some CSGO plays. If you want to keep track of the latest and greatest in the world of shooters, make sure to check us out on Esports and 30 every Friday at 8.30 p.m. EST. And follow us on all our socials at Squad State for all your esports needs. See you next time.